Hi guys, we're going to be talking about pin nailers today and especially Hitachi pin nailers. One that I really, really like, uh, this is the Hitachi NP35A. Why do I like it? It's an inexpensive gun that works really, really well and shoots up to an inch and three eighths pin nails. Now pin nails are headless. So if you've ever gone around doing wood trim and you're doing maybe a little, you know, spiral molding or something that's real tiny, you don't want to split it. Maybe you've got an 18 gauge slight head nailer if you're really fancy. But most of us were using 18 gauge nails and a lot of times you'd split it. And even if it didn't split, you had to go back and fill that dang little hole. Well these, as it sounds, shoot pins. Tiny, tiny little pins. Now what that does is allow us to have a nail Let's see if I can get one to shoot through here. And it has a double trigger system, so you have to hold one trigger down. And that little pin is all that's sticking out. I don't know if you guys can see that. But these are inch and a quarters, which will work real great up to, you know, three quarter inches thick on three quarter inch stock. These use literally no air at all which is kind of nice and if you want which I do in my shop this is my old quarter cable gun which works great nothing wrong with it but it only goes up to one inch I actually have this gun set to one inch to shoot one inch pins and I have this gun to shoot inch and a quarter pins and what I do is if you actually take the two um, there's two little screws up here in the front kind of offset and you unloosen it even comes with your little Allen wrench here. If you undo those, you can slide that nose up and down and adjust for depth. Now these are meant to hold things in place while glue dries. So you're going to put your trim, you're going to glue your trim up, push this up, pin it in place, and it holds very, very well. Now the other nice thing is like we were talking about before, it doesn't leave a hole. So almost nothing, if you're not looking really, really close, does it actually leave makes almost no noise too and you can run it on your smaller air compressors. I have one of the small Senko air compressors. You can run freaking all day long without having to hear it air up during the day. So if you're in an area you know where that might be a problem. Now they do not have a head so they don't have a lot of holding power but they will suck things up that you pushed up and hold in place while you're gluing things. Something to think about. Again it is a double trigger system so you have to pull one trigger and then pull the second trigger. Now, as soon as that second, that first trigger is pulled, it will shoot. It doesn't have to be pushed up against anything. So don't put these up against your leg or walk around in the room. You can accidentally shoot yourself. The other thing, it comes with these little orange tips uh, that go on the front to protect it from, you know, marring the surface. Not a necessity in my book because you don't have to push up against something. So I don't put them on, but I keep them just in case one of the guys wants to use one while they're using it. Um, simple loading, you know, standard loading like you would anything else. Now they do come with a little arrow on your nails. Make sure the arrow is facing down. And once that arrow is facing down, that's the sharp side of them. And that will help them drive in just really good. Saying that, I don't have ever any problems even shooting, you know, three and a, one and three eighths nails. They shoot perfect every time. So. Yeah, they, you know, they'll shoot, you know, you can hold them off just to see them, but, you know, a small pin nail that's going to hold things until things dry without leaving them much of a hole. So if you've got somewhere, maybe you've already gone through and you've put all your trim up and you forgot a spot, definitely something to think about. Every woodworker should have one. And like I said, get two, they're cheap. You know, these run about 150 bucks, 100 bucks, no matter where you're buying them. All good guns. So if you have any questions, leave them at the bottom. Uh, like and subscribe. If you want to know more about other things, uh, look at some of our other videos. We do all kinds of videos. But definitely if you want to know more about a certain tool maybe that's out there, I don't get paid to do this. So uh, just ask me and I'll see what I've got in the garage. So have a great day.